Hey all you apocalypse survivors, it's time for another episode of Unturned, where we have to survive the zombies. Um, if you remember, last time we played we got a few things, we got a shovel, um, that's not what I meant to do. Um, hopefully it should save our, yeah, should have saved our progress. Um, we got a shovel and we got a Swiss army knife and we went into the camp and we got that stuff canteen and a few other things um I think they did some more updates because they had to load before I started this game so and we were on the hill so we need to uh, get our weapons Ready? I'm gonna sneak up on the zombie over here. Whoa, holy crap. Why'd you hear me? Phew, what the hell? Dancing zombie. You have, you have a good time over there? So like, I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. I really need some more stuff to... Um... Uh, sorry, what do we want? Gee. Um... Don't have any more bandages. So I'm basically... Fucked unless I can find something somewhere. You know, the ones that you want to avoid are like the ones that are on four legs. They're called like dog zombies or whatever. They'll run at you like as if they were dogs. Oh my god. Okay, well, I lost all my shit. <sighs> so we have to start all over again. But that's not a big deal. I mean, I didn't have a lot of really good stuff. I just had a bunch of shit, really. I'm gonna... They must have improved their AI because they never used to turn around and jump at you. They're just kind of like... Like, dumb. <laughs> Jesus. At least the AI is better than it was when the game first started. That was ri fucking ridiculous. Okay, um, what the fuck is this? Don't know. Um, don't have any weapons. Still. Well, there's a nightclub. A 22% lovely. We heard a gun. Cobra. I like that how they added like opening of things. Uh. These file cabinets you can't open. Another baton. Let's take these uh And left clothes and salvage into some 
stuff so we can make some bandages and heal ourselves. Yeah, that's better. <coughs> okay, let's get our baton. No. There. Um, you can hop in this police car real fast. Run over all this shit. Oh, holy crap. What the hell? Okay, that's not a good idea. Oh. Jeez, dude. Oh my god. That was horrendous. I think they like took the fucking car. That's like ridiculous. Hang on one second. Okay. Wow, that was brutal. I think they made it to where zombies are like a lot more stronger. Because they never used to flip cars before, at least not the last time I played. But that's something new. I've never seen a zombie. Because they were like on the car. I mean, I've seen them on top of the car. So I know they get on top of the car. But I didn't know that they flip and, flip and flip cars, you know? And they're starting to put zombies, like, more in the buildings. Because before, like, they were just sitting outside. And stuff. So you could get into buildings without having to really worry about zombies coming at you. Go into this place here. What's this? Hockey stick. Hammer. Get the hammer. What else is this? Hockey stick. Nothing. Book. Why are there hockey sticks in the library? Binoculars? Eh. Rope. It's good to have rope. I think this game is going to be a little bit harder than it usually is. Holy crap. Another AI changed a lot. Because before, like, you could creep up, like you saw last episode, you could creep up, like, right behind their, uh, right behind them, and, like, oh, holy crap. Shit, I didn't expect that guy to be down there. the crap out of me. What do I what did I pick up? Sport shot. And I have a what's this down here? Ace. I'm not really one for guns. What's this? Colt, okay. Um Cold in the cult magazine, I could probably use because I don't like know which. Money? That's new. Am I supposed to do give the zombies money to say, hey, don't eat me, okay? That seems kind of funny. Okay, so, um. Five out of seven, okay. Let's see if I'm a good shot with this, because normally I'm not good shots with these things. Let's get in this car. Start mowing down zombies. Holy crap. What the fuck? You can't run over zombies with cars anymore? That's bullshit. 
I didn't put it on super hard or anything, did I? Hang on, let me see something. Cause like, this is freaking ridiculous. Let me try something. Because I just did an update. So... Normal. Hard. Easy. I think it switched because it wasn't on normal, it was on easy. Because <clears throat> I'm a pussy and I like things easy. <clears throat> Still fun regardless. So, sh so I'm, I'm a pussy. I like things easy. Okay, so now hopefully these things won't be that freaking hard. Good lord. I mean, that's like, if that's normal, I'd really hate to see what hard is. Because, like, that's ridiculous. I mean, they're, like, flipping cars. They're, like, on you, like, like, nobody's business. We're back at the airport. <sighs> well, anywho, now that I put it on easy, it won't be as ridiculous as that was and it's getting dark and, and there was a thing that was in the multiplayer game that we were that I was playing before with a friend that um <coughs> on uh, <coughs> full moons they turn into a horde <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I think it was this game. That if it's full moon, their eyes will turn red. And they'll, like, be like super zombies. And I don't know if that's for the same way for the mult or the single player. I certainly hope not. Because if these <coughs> zombies were hard as... on normal. I hate to see what they were would be on midnight. When the sun's going down. And you never know when it's going to be uh, full moon. So we're just gonna <clears throat> nonchalantly drive this car until it runs out of gas. There should be any time now. go to this farm. Well, at least they made it more challenging than it was, because before, like, like I said, you could get up right behind zombies and kill them, like, insta-kill basically, if you get them right on the back of the head or whatever. Um, she just somehow got down farmers in here. Uh, it's getting hard to where I can't see anything. I wonder why they implemented this just yet. I mean, maybe they're gonna add stuff to it? Like... Where you can actually get stuff in there or something? I don't need that. Because I don't have a weapon. <clears throat> There's a farmer there. A farmer there. <sighs> I'm gonna have to punch some shit because I can't get past them. I don't have any weapons. Mm -hmm. Come here, Zombo. Come here. Come here. Come here, little Zombo. <laughs> Die, you motherfucker. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Lost about half of my health. I didn't drop anything worthy of picking up. So if, uh, drop a lot of blood, Jesus. 
Okay, um, no, not that one. That one. Hopefully they're not actually in the barn. Yeah, they are. Damn it. <sighs> At least it's like upstairs. Paddle. What's this over here? <clears throat> On this thing here. From the bottom. I already have pants. Mm. <coughs> There's a crate and a hat. in there unless it's upstairs. This is new. I remember there being a big old freaking wheat wheat field here. Thank goodness it's not a full moon. <coughs> Excuse me again. But as, as it is, we're going to be pretty much fucked. I mean, okay, so when the game first came out, it was really fun, but it was really hard to get stuff. You like, the AIs on the zombies were like super, super hard. You couldn't like get anything without getting like mauled by dozens of zombies. <clears throat> there was low drop drop rates of things <clears throat> so it was really hard to get like supplies and stuff and you had to <clears throat> close out the game and really you know come back in in order to for things to respawn so <clears throat> when we first started play playing it or I first started playing it we had you know, we gathered everything from all the towns, and then we were like, okay, well, let's, you know, close the game and restart it so that way we can replenish the supplies. <clears throat> but, like, once you get, like, a, got a weapon and got, uh, all that kind of stuff, then you basically were, like, OP. Because I was, had, a, had myself in at the farm. I had a bunch of uh, stuff. Um, I had a bunch of <coughs> not weapons so much, but oh, you could actually repair cars here now. <clears throat> Ooh, flashlight. Ooh, now I can see. Cool. Um, but I had like a bunch of oops, lag there. Had a bunch of um. I'm like drawing a blank here. Like fortification. I'm like trying to do things and talk at the same time, and my brain doesn't work that way all the time. Um, um, but no, I mean like I had a lot of fortification on my house, so it was basically like a, a fortress of solitude, basically. <coughs> and I was like OP as heck. I mean, it, there wasn't really that much left of the game to do because, um, sorry, I'm having like, all kinds of technical issues. Um, I just didn't do it any more of the game because it was like, I had everything, I had weapons, I had this, I had that, so it was just like, not really, you know, need to keep playing because I had fortress, I could go out whenever I wanted to get food, so, you know, I had a car, I had gas, I was 
protected, so it, there wasn't really much left of the game. But then they did an update to where <clears throat> zombies were less aggressive and you could get things more and they made more maps. That was great because then they added more to the game. And then this just recently they added, I guess, the AI uh, has changed again so that way the zombies are a little bit more smarter and they hear you a lot better because before they were just kind of like done, they just sit there like this and you could like basically like run up on them and they wouldn't do anything but now they changed the AI to where they're actually you know coming up and uh, trying to kill you so but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here um, hopefully in the next video we'll be able to get a weapon not die and lose all of our shit and find a nice base to uh, put ourselves in and fortify and get all our stuff together and make some shit so that way we're protected so hopefully we'll get to that not all in one video obviously but in the next couple of videos anyway so if you like this video give it a like and make sure to uh, uh, share it with your friends because it'll help me out also be sure to follow me on Twitter because I have a Twitter account. Also, something new, <clears throat> if you like the uh, image of my fox down there, I put a, up a merchandise store through Spreadshirt. You could get a uh, fox with my you know, YouTube handle, CrystalKatsuna85, on a shirt, both for male or for female. Just um, on, I'll leave a link to it um, in the description, but also you can get to it through my uh, YouTube uh, channel banner right there on the bottom where th uh, bottom right there's all these little links for Twitter and uh, whatnot. It's the very last one, spread shirt. Click on that, it'll take you to my store and you can get a shirt. They're not that expensive and it'll, part of it or part of a percentage will go to me. So it's something that else that you can do to help me out and help uh, spread the word of my channel. So that will be it, everybody. I love you very much. Thank you for watching, and I will see everybody next time. Bye-bye.